This one not so wet wet. One one na one way go. One way go. Hey, one one na one way go na na. One way go. One way is a village guy man no ah. One way go. Hey, every day na so so story. One way go. Hey, from pillar to post na trouble every day. One way go. Hey. Now which can begin to be this year? Now which can person to be this year? I I be make we sell a man buy a big go to her. I be make we sell a man buy a vow. One way go, 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 one way one way is a village guy, man, no, one way go. Ay, every day, na so so story. One way go. Ay, from pillar to post, na trouble every day. One way go. Ay, na which kind begin to be this year? One way go. Na which kind person to be this year? One way go. Ay, na be make we sell a man, buy a big go to a. One way go. I be make we sell a man buy a vow. One way go. To us, baby. To us. Tastes nice. <laughs> This looks amazing. Oh, mom. Um, You're welcome. Your Majesty. And where is she? This is um, oh. Chisinde, my fiance. Cindy, <laughs> my lovely mom. Greetings, Your Majesty. I've heard a whole lot about you. You just say fiance? Yes, mom. I wonder why she's this tall, taller than you. I would be pretty easy. Don't worry, <laughs> ah, yeah, baby. So, I am going to show you around afterwards. Okay. Okay. I'll take you around the palace. <laughs> and <laughs> wow. Um. Um. Oh, mom, you're back. <sighs> yes. And what is your name? Yeah, yes, yes, my boy. How did it? Mom. What, mom? Take your bag and leave my house. Run! Sorry. Mom, I, what's going on? Huh? Babe!
baby. I'm so sorry. I, I really don't know what she's talking about. But I want you to trust me. Okay? I promise to put this situation under control. And that is the most unbelieving moment of my life. Did you hear that? What did I ever do to your mother? What? I'm sorry. Okay? Trust me to handle it. Right? If you say so. Thank you for your understanding. I'm sorry. I have to get going, please. Okay. Make sure you talk to me. Bye. -bye. Mom, will you respect? I demand an explanation to what just happened. Come on, son. I owe you no explanation to what just happened. What is there to explain? She is the daughter of a traitor. I'm sure she sent to this family to come and tear my family apart. But that will not happen. I will not give her a chance to achieve that in this family. What is going wrong with you? There's nothing good in that girl. She's low class. She does not belong here. You have Chief Amanda. A beautiful, elegant, intelligent girl from a noble home. A princess from Obugu Kingdom. What else do you want? I can't marry Amanda. I don't love her anymore. I mean, why would you want me to take in a girl as a wife just because you and father want me to? You must have to marry her son. I don't want further argument over this matter like you do with your mother. I have made up my mind you must marry Princess Chima Amanda of Ogugui Kingdom as we have agreed with the parents. And that is final. Tell the maidens to serve me some wine and see me tonight after dinner. Son, let's be good. I don't know what has come over this boy. Anyway, that's by the way. You're looking more prettier tonight. Oh, let's just wait for the glass of wine to keep on the same point. <laughs> My son, I called because of something that was bothering me. I may catch you, my son. Father. I want you to know that my pride as a man lies on you. Since I've lost your brother to the white man's land where he insisted on running up with his masters before coming down home to get married and settle down after all my pain. When I catch my son, I want you to get married while we are waiting for his return. And who knows when or how soon. You see, the both of you are only children of mine. Since doctor confirmed your mother inability to conceive due to some possible complications, I want you to give me a glass of energy, please, to enlarge my lineage. And I want you to 
through this matter as a matter of urgency after you have a right to it. Please, my son. Yes, father. I will think about it. No. There is nothing to think about here. I want you to handle it as soon as possible. Do you understand? Yes, I'm but um... there, no, no buts. I don't want further arguments over this issue. Good night. My father. We are all waiting for you. <laughs> Mom, I wonder who this special guest of yours is that you asked me to dress up and come down to wait. I told you it's a surprise, so I'll be patient with your mother. You okay. will love it. I'll be waiting patiently. All right. Trust me. It's a surprise to see you. But I told you that it's a surprise package. <laughs> Remember, I also said that you will love it. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> you know, it's been a long time we last saw each other. Yeah, good to see you again, my love. Hmm. Okay, son. Um, your wife to be is here to meet her husband to be. In preparation for your marriage, just like your father requested. Um, mom, but um, uh, there is no but, son. Mom, she left all the way from the kingdom to see you. Come on, show her some love and make her comfortable in your house. Oh, your Majesty, yes, I'm already comfortable. <laughs> I remember to the surprise. Mm. leave you two to get to know each other very well. Come on, son. Make sure you keep her entertained. I shouldn't teach you how to do that. Because my son, welcome to her. Thank you, Majesty. Mm. So, how are you doing? Good. I'm fine. You're fine. So, what's been going on, Tommy? Just wait to see you. Um, what would you, um, what do you care for? I'm talking about what I care for for now. Just tell me what has been going on with you. But you look good. Yeah, that's a welcome development. A child is a blessing from God, and no reasonable man should reject that. I'm not even when I'm craving for more children. Um, son, you have to accept her to claim the paternity of your child. Hmm? 
<laughs> Your Highness, I don't understand what you mean by claiming the paternity of that child. When he is getting ready to marry Amanda, uh, doing this will raise a lot of dust. Well, um, don't worry, my wife. I will handle it. As for the princess, nothing changes with the princess. Yes, she will still remain the first and legally married wife of his. Um, in case you don't know, a prince is entitled to as many wives and concubines as he desires. Yeah. Uh, welcome. I want to see the lady in question. Uh, if you ask me, Your Highness, I am not comfortable with this decision. But if it's okay by you, I'm fine. Well, woman, it doesn't matter if you are comfortable or not. It is my decision. Mm. Just to remind you, you are a woman. Mm. Sorry, Your Highness. Um, bring her home and make her your wife. Fine, well, um, if that's their decision, I don't think I have a problem with that. Yes, because I'd rather be a second wife than lose my lord, my child. And losing you is not something I want to do right now. At least I'll still be seeing you in the house, so... I'm okay with it. Thank you so much for your understanding. <sighs> At least I'm not going to lose you completely. I love you. Mm. Yeah, that reminds me. My father demands your presence and that of your mother in the palace tomorrow. What? Yes. <laughs> Come on. It's nothing. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow? Yes. Wow. Is that not okay? No, it's, it's okay. Hmm. <sighs> Thank you. Okay. So. Okay. So I said that our son, Nekati, has finally made us proud. And he's settling down, even up to his responsibility as a man. Not just taking a wife. He took two women, at least two, to make my lineage fruitful. Your Highness, as far as I'm concerned, our son is married to only one wife, Chimamanda. The other woman is an intruder. She forced herself into this house. And she will remain only but a mistress. She's only here to warm my son's bed when he wants the bed warm. She's nobody, just a mistress, a low-class mistress at that. Got her instructed day to go from nowhere. Hey, yeah, my darling. I understand you never liked Sisimde, but you should not forget that she has our blood in her. Yeah, mm. and very soon she will give us a child, even before the princess. So she deserves some affection for that responsibility. Your Highness, you said affection for me to that time? She doesn't deserve anything from me. She's nothing but a mistress. Don't forget that she forced herself into this palace without pregnancy. I would just call her a gold digger, a cheap one at that, a very hungry 
white rats. Oh. Oh. Who is that? Oh, he came also. Mm. Tell him I want to talk to him. <clears throat> Hello, Ikeme, how are you? How is your studies? And the United Kingdom? <laughs> oh yes, 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 I heard about it, um, that uh, the pandemic is getting on the high side over there. And I am worried about you. But I was calling and you weren't picking your call. Hmm. Oh, over here it's not a uh, all that serious. It's on the low side, yeah. Yeah. Everybody is fine. Oh. You finally decided to come home? Hmm. <laughs> really? Honestly, I am happy to hear that. So, when are you planning to go? <clears throat> that would be fine. Yes, everyone is um, everyone is good. She's even with me here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> she won't let me be. She <laughs> wanted to pick a uh, pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can talk with her. He came as from my own doctor. <laughs> How are you, my dear? Ah, oh, really? So when are you coming home? When, do you, when are we expecting you here? <laughs> I can't wait to see you. To feed you. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, okay, my dear. Be careful and stay safe, okay? Okay, bye. Love you.